back to my channel. It is Nikki here. So today I have a video for you. It's a different kind of video and I think you guys are really going to like it. So the other day, well you're going to know because I've got a Primark haul that I would have already gone live. But the other day I went to Primark and I saw these, these palettes called Master Palettes. It's called the Master Eye Palette. They do them in two, as far as I'm concerned, two different colours. So you've got this one which is quite warm and then you've got this one which I can't open which is the more burgundy shade one. I got both of them because I like colours in both of them. You guys know that I love these sorts of tones anyway. They're very much similar to kind of other high-end dupes that I talk about in this video. But I picked them up because they were £6. They were £6 and you get 12 You get 12 in each for £6. So that boggles my mind. And I did actually... There was a tester there, it wasn't really a tester, it was someone had opened it. And I swatched it and the pigment, the pigment was absolutely insane. So I picked them up and I thought it'd be a good video to do to show you guys to see, do they actually work? I don't know. I kind of stay away. I do pick up lip products from Primark and I like their lip products and I like their highlighters. But do their eyeshadows work? I don't know. We need to test them out. So this video is all about testing them out. So if you want to see how I achieved this look, and to see whether the eyeshadows from Primark actually work, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I'm just gonna start off by tying up my hair because I need to get it out of the way. We don't want any hair. I need great concentration and focus for this look. So both palettes look like this. They are called the PS Master Eye Palette. You have this one that has warmer shades in it. So it's got like your burnt oranges but it concentrates more on the golds and then you have one that is more of a burgundy. I picked them both up. This one is stunning as well. It's also got burnt oranges in it, but it's got more of your burgundy tones in if you want more of a purplish sort of eye. Pick them both up because I like colors in both of them. I obviously like the burnt oranges in these ones and the gold ones in this one. This one's also got a dark brown. They're just stunning colors. They are called the PS Master Eye Palettes and they go for six pound each from Primark. Now on swatch, just on finger swatch, they're very, very, very pigmented. I was shocked, like they're so pigmented and the shimmers come up really nice as well. So I'm really excited to try them. Now, if I do swatch them on my skin, I'm not gonna lie, they feel a little bit chalky, a little bit powdery. The shimmers come up a lot better than the mattes, I find, but they are a little bit powdery. However, we do not know yet until we try them on the eyes. One thing that I really quickly wanted to mention is this Master Eye Palette in the burgundy. It's a shame that they don't have names to the colours, which is a shame, or a name of the palette, so you can differentiate between the palettes. These colours look very, very similar to the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. I feel like Primark are trying to dupe the colours because they look very, very similar. You've got the burgundy tones in there, you've got the browns. The tones just look very similar. And then for this warmer palette with the golds in, it looks very similar to the MAC Times 15 warm palette. Not gonna lie, and the MAC Times 15 warm palette is a bomb palette. But if you put them side by side, they look identical, right? Like the colors look like they were taken, taken from the MAC palette and put into another palette. They look pretty much identical. So I am really excited to try them out. Without further ado, let's just get into the tutorial. Okay, so now that we are a little bit up close and personal, up in my business, we're gonna start off. I am not using like a Primark primer or anything. However, I am gonna be using affordable products because it just makes sense, doesn't it? So I'm gonna be using the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Fawn. No, I'm not. I'm gonna grab the other one. This is the wrong one, bear with me. So I'm gonna be priming with a little bit of LA Girls Pro Conceal in Creamy Beige, and I'm gonna pop this all over the lid and then just quickly blend that out using a damp beauty blender. Now, before these bad boys start creasing, I'm gonna set them in place with the PS Setting Powder from Primark is ideal for baking. I do actually really like this stuff, I've used it before, and it's only three pounds, which is a bonus. So I'm just gonna take it on to a flat brush and pack that on to my lids, and then just fluff it away with a fluffier brush. Guys, if there's one thing I hate about powder, it's the bloody fallout. Everything is a mess. Okay, so I have both palettes here, and I'm just deciding what to go into for a transition color. 
I don't want to go too dark, so I'm going to go into this shade right here from the Burgundy palette. And it is a little bit warmer in colour. So I'm going to be using that on a MAC 224 and I'm going to be popping that in to the crease. Now as far as fallout is concerned, it's got a fair bit of fallout, but it doesn't really bother me. It's picking up a lot on the brush, so I'm excited to try it. Okay, listen, on first impressions, guys, this colour payoff is good. It's a little bit powdery. It's got a little bit too much fallout for my liking. However, it's working. I'm not complaining. I'm not mad at it. Okay, so I think I'm going to give you references to the colours that they are very similar to. This one is very similar to Soft Brown Eyeshadow by MAC. And then I'm just going to run this colour along my lower lash line. Okay, so once the crease colours are down and the transition's down, I'm going to go into that burgundy palette again. And I'm going to take the colour next to it, which is more of this colour right here, which looks very similar to Saddle by MAC. So I'm excited to try this out. I'm going to be taking it just again on my 224 and popping that just into my crease a little bit lower down listen guys Primark is coming through with beauty I'm telling you the color payoff I can't even I'm trying to be really delicate with my 224 because it's picking up a lot of pigment and I'm trying to layer it gradually but this color pigment I'm telling you this looks so much like saddle it's oh my god it's such a beautiful burnt orange color I'm just gonna go in to the inner corner of it. Oh no, I didn't want to do that. I'm just gonna take this color right into my inner corner as well. Now taking that same color, we're just gonna run that along the lower lash line as well. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see, but it's slightly patchy just here. I don't know if that's my blending abilities or what that is about, but it's just slightly a little bit patchy just there. This, I'm telling you guys, this burgundy palette is the one. I've used all the colours from there. So going in to this dark brown colour now with my MAC 221, which is slightly smaller. We're going to concentrate that more on the outer third and in the crease area. Okay, quick update. This dark brown, it is pigmented, but I've had to go in like three times to get up or pick up more pigment. But for £6, I'm not mad. Okay, so where you want the colour to be stronger, what you need to do with this is you need to like pack. Pack, 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 get your shape and then swipe away. Okay, so I don't know what it is about this colour, but it doesn't, if I swipe, the colour will come away. Can you see that? So it doesn't stay, which is really annoying. Um, so I'm going to try a black and put a black there just to deepen that up and get rid of that because I can't be rolling around like that. Okay, so taking a smaller brush, this is the BH Cosmetics in number 5. I'm going to go in to that warm palette and take the black from there. Hoping that this is just going to correct that darkness a little bit. I feel a little bit deflated now because it was going so well. Okay, because I've had enough of trying to salvage that, we're going to try and clean that up maybe with some wing liner. I'm going to go straight in to this burnt orange and this dark brown on this flat brush and I'm going to pop this on my lower lash line. Okay, because I've obviously made an error, I'm going to just take my damp beauty blender with the excess concealer and I'm just going on my brow bone and then I'm going to try and just take a clean blending brush and blend it up because that black was getting out of control. Okay, so I'm going to take a little bit of my LA Girl Pro Concealer that we used before in the shade Creamy Beige. I'm going to pop it just on the back of my hand and then use a small detailer brush. This is a BH Cosmetics in the number 9. And I'm going to start carving out a sort of half cut crease. Okay, so the reason why I'm attempting this, you guys know that I never do cut crease or half cut crease, is because I saw Nikki do it on um, Kim Kardashian West the other day on the power of makeup and it her oh gosh her eyes looked absolutely insane so i was like i need to try that and i'm going into the warmer palette i'm going to take these two shimmery shades right here and i'm going to mix them together just on this concealer type brush and quickly pack it on top of our cut crease okay that shimmer that shimmer shadow from primark banging absolutely banging I'm going to take a teensy bit of this kind of lightish gold and pop that just into the inner corner area. Yes, come through. Oh my gosh. I don't know if you're seeing this, 
but this is banging as an inner corner highlight. Oh, Primark come through, their shimmer shades are incredible. Okay, so now I'm going to take a teensy bit on a clean 221 brush. No, this is a Morphe M514. Just a little bit of that kind of saddle-like orange colour. And then I'm just going to blend this on the outskirts and try and diffuse that black a little bit as well. Just get rid of them harsh edges. Now going into that light gold again, I'm just going to be popping that on the brow bone, just the tip of the brow bone to give it a little bit of oomph there. Okay, so because I'm going to try and salvage this little area here because I can't do anything about it, the only thing that I can think of doing is putting a wing liner. I have really come off doing wing liner recently. I don't know what it is about wing liner. I just really don't enjoy it anymore. Or don't really like, I like kind of bare eyes. I'm in that sort of vibe at the moment, just really bare eyes. But I am going to be putting on a wing liner. I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in the shade Trooper as per usual. This is an amazing black eyeliner. And then just giving myself maybe a subtle wing. We'll see how we get on. Okay, so I feel like putting this wing liner here and the struggle was real. Believe me, the struggle was real to do this wing liner. I think I've forgotten how to do wing liner. Um, has really hid up that kind of error where it wasn't blending, where the black really wasn't blending. I'm going to put some mascara on my top lashes. I'm going to be using the Maybelline Lash Sensational just to coat them, just to make them black before we put on any fake lashes. For lashes, I am going to be using these lashes called Azaredo Cosmetics. I hope I pronounced that well. These are in the style icon. They're beautiful. They're not as chunky. They're just kind of classic lashes, which I think will look really pretty with this look. Okay, so you guys already probably already know because I did tell you in my last video, but if you didn't catch it there, I'm going to tell you again. I like to take the glue, put it onto the lash band, and then I like to stamp it on to my lash line on the top. Stamp the glue, let it transfer, and let both get tacky. Then put your eyelashes on. Oh my gosh, makes a world of difference. So much easier to wear your lashes like this. Okay, so once your lashes are safely and securely on, these are absolutely stunning. They're really nice, classic, fluffy lashes. Usually for my waterline, I like to use Urban Decay's Black Liner in Perversion, but I can't seem to find it. I've not found it for days. Like I don't know where it's disappeared to. It's obviously run off. So I'm going to be using my MAC Black Track Gel Liner. Just taking a little bit of this on to just a small detailer brush. This is a MAC 209. And then I'm just going to pop a little bit of this in my waterline to make it look smoldery there. Then I'm just going to add a little bit of mascara on my lower lashes. Now that I'm pretty happy with how the eyes are looking, I'm gonna just complete the face just to give you guys the overall look so you can see the whole look together. I'm gonna be using the PS Strobing Highlighting Cream. This is in the shade Champagne and this was only two pound. I love it. I compare it, it's kind of similar to the iconic London Illuminator Drops or anything that's an illuminator in a liquid format. I'm just gonna pop it on the high points of my face and then I'm gonna blend that out using a damp beauty blender. I love this because it's literally just like a soft kind of glow. The London Illuminator ones, the iconic London ones, they're a little bit wet, like they can look a little bit like grease if you're not careful and they're very, very pigmented. Whereas these ones just really soak into the skin and they look so natural and for £2 I'm not complaining either. Now for highlighter, I'm going to be using the BH Cosmetics Spotlight Palette. I absolutely adore this palette. It's got six shades in there. I'm going to be using the shade Dream. And then I'm going to be going over everywhere that we've just put that liquid illuminator. I feel like we need a minute silence. Because I want a little bit cray, I'm just going to blend with a damp beauty blender. It's just going to soften it a little bit. And a touch. A touch, Mom. Now for bronzer, I'm going to be using a little bit of Collection Bronze Glow in the matte powder in the shade number one Terracotta. I love this. This is a great dupe for MAC Give Me Sun. And I believe it's £2, £2.50, £3, something like that. Very, very affordable from Superdrug. So I'm going to be taking this on a J. Manuel Beauty Blush Brush. And then I'm just going to be sculpting out my cheeks and bronzing up my skin with this. This is such a nice, like, fluffy brush that it just disperses that product so softly. For a hot minute, I've been over contour. I don't know what it is. Every time I contour, I look muddy. It's probably because I'm using the wrong shades. And even if I'm using the right shades, it's more like bronzer 
I'm just really not about that contour life anymore. I don't think it does anything for me. I think, I feel like bronzing up my skin does the same as what contouring does. Does that make sense? Okay, so for lips, I was umming and ahhing. I was gonna go for a dark lip, but it just isn't me. I needed to go for a neutral. So I'm gonna be using a Max Lip Pencil in the shade Hover. And then I'm gonna be lining and filling the whole of my lip in with this brown color. Now you could, of course, leave the color like this, but it's a little bit warm for my liking. So I'm gonna be using BH Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in the shade Sandy. Just popping a little bit of this into the center and then giving it a quick finger blend as I usually like to do. And I'm just gonna take my finger and quickly go back into a little bit of Dream. Then I'm just going to quickly set with a little bit of good old MAC Fix Plus. As per usual, I'm going to drench myself in it. And that, guys, completes the look. I hope you guys really enjoyed me trying out these master palettes. I had so much fun trying them out. I didn't know what to expect because it was the first impressions as well as a review, I suppose. What I would say my quick rundown is is that the dark brown in this palette and the black in this palette, from my experience, didn't blend as nicely. You guys saw me having trouble with that. You can correct it, but I would probably stay clear from the dark colors. Other than that, these burnt oranges that you've got in these palettes to die for, absolutely beautiful. And the shimmers in this palette, oh my gosh, I didn't even wet them. I'm assuming that they'd be even stronger if I wet them, but I didn't wet them. And you can see them on the lid right now. They cut it so nice. I guess the concealer was a little bit wet, so it had something to stick to but they're so buttery soft and so nice. The colors, the color scheme, color scheme? No, what's it called? Like the shade selection, bomb again. But like I said, they're very similar to the other palettes, like dupes of other palettes. That would be my rundown for six pound. I'm not mad for six pound. I would buy again if they had other palettes with different colors. Say they came up with a full matte palette or a full shimmer palette, I would buy that. I think for six pound you can't complain and I think they're very similar to like high end, high end palettes I've got and I've got a lot of high end palettes. So I am all for the Primark Master Eyeshadow Palettes. Let me know down below what you think. Let me know down below what you also think of this look. I had so much fun creating it. And that is it guys, I suppose. As per usual, I love you guys so very much. Leave me all your comments down below because I do read them all. Make sure that you hit the subscribe button and welcome to the family if you're new. I love you guys so very much and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Hey baby, baby, baby.